Hi Sagittariuses, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your end of April to end of May 2018 financial reading. Thank you for stopping by those of you who are new. Thank you again to all of you who come to me and donate and share and like and subscribe, who come to me for weekly, monthly and yearly readings, who I have known from the beginning, most importantly, for the comments that come that help for me to hear how these energies have made you see more clearly the path that is meant and that is best for you in your path ahead. Anyway, let's get into the center of the reading. So what I'm feeling for you guys is some of you feel very burdened when it comes to a situation by which, you know, maybe there's been a lot of playfulness uh, and fun at one point, but there's some sort of anxious energy in the next uh, week or two from watching the video because uh, someone comes in quickly with some sort of message that's going to require change. This change may even require moving ahead. So you may be worried and thinking, wow, do I move ahead to this business location, that business location? Do I move into a different department? Do I move, you know, into a new home? Because now I've gotten the message I've been waiting for and I can actually not be anxious anymore. Because I'm feeling towards the next uh, four to six weeks, there's a commitment and comforting energy. So starting off with just have faith right now in this week that uh, things are being exposed, okay? So people who are not making the right choices and are not being very honest, that spirit is offering the energies of faith here. So this is spirit's way of helping to guide you into a new path ahead. So in your thoughts, some of you, not all of you, may be thinking that, okay, I have reached the ending of something in my life. How do I move forward? Because it's almost feeling like a burden at this time. And the Hierophant is saying here, I'm gonna give you one of these new keys here. One or Which one do you want, the silver or the gold? Some of you in your thoughts are very excited but maybe nervous to step into that leadership position, that position of financial abundance, more than what you're making, probably by quite a bit, and or a home business. Some of you are watching a person at work and you're trying to have faith that this person's being honest with you because you're getting tired of waiting around, basically, in your relationship sector to others or with others. There is a karmic connection here. There is an energy by which you will come together and know that this path was meant for me or this person was the right person for me to communicate with because they're more honest. They're leading me in a direction of greater prosperity where my wheel of fortune can start to move forward. So in the next two to three weeks, an offer may come in or spirit saying, go with the chariot energies and take the steps to go find out if there is a better path for you. Now this could be a home project that you start to sell online and taking the steps. Because with the chariot energies, they're saying as you put energy into creating this abundant path ahead of you, we're gonna help for you to find success. It's a major arcana, the chariot. So creatively, some of you may have been feeling down like you know it's the end of a path in some way and you feel like you can't get back up or do anything right but you know these swords dissipate when it's the end of the path it just depends on how long you want to lay there you know with the star card energies also as a major arcana spirit is saying we are offering you the opportunity to hope wish and pray on a star and we will help to make those wishes come true In your actions position, there's a celebration that could be available to you, but I think Spirit's saying with the uh, Empress Angel in reverse, or Empress card in reverse, that you're not looking in the right direction. Some of you feel like you can't manifest, but you can. Now's the time to think about what can I create 
with my knowledge and my experience that I can celebrate in my life, where I won't have to rely on people who are dishonest, not speaking their truth about a situation. Emotionally, in the next three, four weeks, Spirit saying, you will understand, you know what, I've gone full circle in this path. I've been here, done this. I can now be thankful to Spirit that I can step into this brand new beginning with the World Card Energies. Therefore, I'm going to speak my truth about my boundaries so I don't end up in the Ten of Swords position again. I know that as I hope, wish, and pray to Spirit, that as this new path begins, and as I take the steps to manifest something in my path, that it will be blessed, and that Spirit has faith and will support you. So subconsciously, you've got the Wheel of Fortune moving forward in your favor. Know this. Know as well that with the Ace of pentacles that there is a brand new financial building business investment creativity for you guys that is what you need to be looking for so it could be you're just creating something in your own path that has to do with business and you're going to be selling maybe not brick and mortar but maybe a uh, online business in your practical day-to-day -day matters position in order to get out of your thoughts frustrations angers and worries Oops. It's time to bring an end to something. It's time to come to the understanding that you don't need this path to find that happiness ahead because Spirit's already saying there will be a contract, a partnership, a coming together with a very caring, loving, giving person after some changes are made. And in this death card energy, nobody really cares that something's falling apart. They're not trying to get to the situation. There's no judgment there. They're at, you know, but the other side is. This is about happily bringing something to an end, wishing for a new beginning. So you have the inner strength, Sagis, to continue to set goals and meet goals and set goals and manifest a brand new beginning for yourself by which you can celebrate. So that you can move out of the position of planning into the position of counting your dollar bills right I got a dollar bill yeah I say that to my kids they get mad all right so in other words let's go back over some of you may be facing a situation that's become a burden you don't trust someone and the hierophant is saying remember you have earned the queen of coins energies to climb into the position of authority and or leadership and or business ownership in your relationship sector, as you are stepping forward in your path to create new things, new, uh, you know, resumes or whatever, or starting your own business at home, that the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. So it's a bit of a test of how strong can I be if I do not want to work with someone? How can I either come together with my own soul purpose or how can I connect with someone or how can I connect? Yeah. And take steps with others to find my own success one way or another. You're not stuck where you're at. You can manifest a new beginning. And even if you think you can't because you're tired, you're run down, you've had enough of a situation, know that your prayers with the star card energies and your hopes and your wishes and your manifestation through meditations are going to come in the form of this new world energy. This whole process is meant to make you more emotionally strong when it comes to speaking your truth, your boundaries. And when it comes to setting your goals, knowing subconsciously that in this new path ahead, financially, the wheel of fortune is going to be turning in your favor and there will be success. So something in the next maybe five, six weeks could be coming to an end. And some of you, not all of you, will be happy to see that go. All right. So in a three card summary to my right, with the Tarot of Dreams deck by Lee Burstyn. Spirit saying in the first couple weeks, contemplate and imagine your corner office, you as a business owner, how you're going to take the steps, you know, to line up that Etsy or Amazon channel to the right path. And don't let yourself get down and worried. You're, you're fine. Look at this person's well-dressed. They have nothing to worry about. They're just in their own thoughts. They're sitting comfortably in a nice warm church. So imagine the future. That will help you step through the portal of the future ahead. In the next two to three weeks, as you are <clears throat> recognizing the end of a path, 
Some of you, not all of you, are going to see the truth that someone has been dishonest. And it's time to recognize, you know what? Yes, this was fun. But that party's over and we get to have the memory of it. Look it. You get to move on to the next party, not by yourself. There's two cups there, overflowing and abundant and happy. So why sit in question when you can take the steps to con connect out to others with the Page of Pentacles so that others know you're available when one thing comes to an end and the new beginning comes. Interesting. So if you plan ahead and connect with someone, something may be falling apart or... Yeah, it just wasn't meant to be. And now all of a sudden, look at the blessings coming in with the birds. Very quickly. To lead you into a new direction. So a new direction for some of you, whomever's energies these are, is what is meant to happen no matter what. Because the people you're around, you should have learned from. And now you get to move into something that is much more comfortable and that doesn't give you anxiety. So in a three, uh, no, uh, to clarify, I'm going to bring in the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by P.C. Cast and Colette Baron reed Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Sagittarius with clearly defined messages regarding their life path when it comes to financial energies for the next month from watching this video. Yes. Where you guys are at right now, the reason you feel like someone's dishonest or you're making bad choices or you're feeling stuck to a situation that you don't like, know that spirit is with you in this time, helping to prevent you from having to remain in the energies of chaos. In your, inner, uh, in your mental aspects position, it's about contemplating and meditating and asking spirits with the star card energies about where it is you want to find yourself financially because one path has ended and now you can take a key and step into a new beginning. So in the meantime, build that wall there, go in the other side in your own space and your own path and work on whatever it is that fulfills you. What is it you truly want? Because what you think about and the steps you take to accomplish it is what you will actually manifest. See here. In your relationship sector, going and connecting and asking questions and communicating with others to come together with a sole person, a sole friend, a sole business partner, a sole contract when it comes to a path by which you are supposed to walk when it comes to business. If you take the steps to go towards a new direction, spirits re saying remain playful because you're leaving the chaos behind because you're finding better love ahead when it comes to humans. You know, people who are more honest. So in your creative aspects position, you're landing with the Ten of Swords, laying there saying, you know, is it time? Can I finally take and move into a new direction? Pray to spirit for signs. Because with the high priestess of fire energies they're sending, she's going to help to guide you into the right path when it comes to a very exciting new beginning when it comes to finances. So turn these Empress energies around and know that with those energies, as a major arcana, Spirit's going to help for you to celebrate a new beginning in the next three, four weeks. If you take the steps, you will start to understand where it is exactly that you belong because you've taken the action to manifest this path. Emotionally, it's about stepping into a new world path and standing by your boundaries. Spirit's saying as you take the right steps and hope, wish, and pray, the new path will open up ahead of you and there will be great success. They're saying congratulations ahead of time. Subconsciously, they're saying the wheel of fortune will turn in your favor when it comes to a brand new path being offered to you from the universe regarding finances. <clears throat> Clearly decipher, is your path chaotic ahead or is it playful? And does it feel like the people you're connecting with are your peeps? Then you can take a risk. So wait four, five, six weeks till you know for sure who are the right people. That's how you'll know your direction. That's how you're going to be able to let go of these frustrating thoughts, energies, feelings, and happily release the energies of someone who is deceptive or who's carrying deceptive energies. You have the inner strengths to go from taking and knowing and, and creating steps to actually pocketing financial abundance and security. For some of you, not all of you, it may take a little while to step beyond old fears of chaos. 
to manifest this beautiful new path ahead. So do not be in fear of creating financial abundance for yourself, whether it's at home, in your own space that you can sell online, or whether it's climbing up to a higher spiritual level. Something's for sure ending, and it's going to be up to you guys to decide, am I going to make the right choice or the wrong choice with the choices angel when something comes in quickly in the end to care for you, to give, to provide, to be fair. Because something is going to end anyway. So, what do I want to bring in next? I'm going to bring in a little bit of love. 1555, wow. That's all about frustrations in love, trying to find the answers in love, trying to maybe overthinking love, trying to find success, but not knowing exactly what success truly means. For some of you, not all of you, there may have been chaotic energies because you've been feeling rejected by maybe people you work with. Some of you are climbing into a leadership okay position thank you they're saying no it wasn't love <laughs> this is about financial abundance and security see some of you need to discover what it is that really makes you happy and put some time into that day to day because you could actually create great financial abundance because great financial abundance is a gift from the universe when we discover that sole purpose Pay attention to the signs when it comes to a playful, fun soul connection. Pay attention to those signs in the next two to three weeks. Hope, wish, and pray on a star as you manifest something new and the High Priestess of uh, Fire is going to help get you passionately excited about a new beginning. Spirit saying, think about that inner child. Who were you as a child? What did you like to do? What is it that you would love to do every day to get up and get excited about that you could prosper from? My high priestess is going to help you to recognize what it is that you're getting excited about. So manifest a new beginning, a new path, and get excited to celebrate that. That is going to help you to find in your life path who and or what you are and to find comfort in exactly where it is that you belong. Because some of you, not all of you, were feeling the selling out energies. Like you were giving so much of yourself, there was nothing left. So take this little soul and clean her up and dress her up and fix her hair and tell her, you, are a, you can accomplish anything in your life you so choose. Stand strong and tall. Go beyond any form of rejection from others. Don't be afraid to speak your truth. And to step into that portal of success. Instead of repeating old cycles as a child by which maybe you couldn't follow your heart. By maybe which you couldn't follow what is excited, exciting for you. And now it's time to break those cycles and do what you wouldn't have done. I feel be brave. You will be feeling brave in the next four or five weeks. And that's how, why you can have the energies of taking a risk. What is that risk going to be? It's going to be awesome. If you guys focus on creating some sort of project, a small business or moving to a larger business and leaving a business behind, you are being reborn with the Phoenix Rising energies. Pay attention to the signs. The kind people will catch you when you fall. And let go of the old deceptive energies. Sometimes something looks beautiful, it looks great, you think it's got a great reputation and then you go there and you work and you feel rejection. And if it's energy you don't like, <clears throat> then face your fears with the hope card. Step into the unknown. Because you have the inner strengths of self-love to show people who you truly are. Unleash your creativity. 
All right, so I have a card here from um, the Daily Guidance from your Angels Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue. And Spirit is offering you the energy or the messages from the Blessing in Disguise card. I just love this card. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. So if you don't know what to pray for, pray to spirit to please bless me with my sole purpose and the place by which I can be and live most happily in my day-to-day -day employed life, creative life. I trust in you to guide my path. All right? And then let your heart lead you and the signs to who is most playfully connected. It's a divine, it's a kindred type energy by which as you step and take a risk, you're going to... Um, feel the wheel of fortune move forward and all of a sudden everything just starts to go it starts to flow so a change is a part of this process and that change is about moving away from an anxious energy to a comfortable energy when it comes to a financially abundant location when it comes to creativity when it comes to what makes you happiest within take some time to get quiet saggies write down what your hopes, wishes, and prayers are, what steps you're going to take to help physically get in those directions or connect to the right people and know that you will be connecting to the right people. Remember to pray to Spirit to guide you and to give you signs and then follow those signs. So, you know, I'll ask Spirit to show me through the day, should I go to uh, Walgreens today or not? Should I wait till tomorrow because I'm doing this and this and this? And then right after that, either I'll see like a Walgreens commercial or I'll see... Or Walgreens will actually call me and tell me again, which they don't always do. So when that stuff happens, it's guidance. You know, every little thing is guiding you. Let your, you, let spirit guide you. Thank you so much for coming by. If you'd like me to pull your personal energies and give you more clarity, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. And the prices are listed below. Take care and God bless.